Yo YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to play the OBJ role in Diamond Lobbies. Now, starting this game I wasn't actually going for some OBJ gameplay but the way the kind of game went my teammates started to go for more kills, push up more lanes so naturally I adapted more to the objective style and you're going to see how the game kind of played out. So starting in this P1, um, yes first of all my first kind of note here is that my pacing is actually off off the break here. Even starting the game it just felt really weird. I didn't really warm up or anything. I kept, kind of kept straight into the lobby and yeah you're gonna see my pacing naturally start to progress and change throughout the game but for now we're gonna just focus on the p1s we go through we take out one gonna push through now they're normally gonna spawn on this right hand side here so what i like to do is just sit in the corner we get a really big kill there. that's a nice two piece and yeah i'm probably gonna die in the situation but that's okay we're gonna mainly play for the spawns and play for the next hard point unfortunately my teammates actually lose their kind of um their gunfights and we're spawning a bit all over the place at this point so it's all about the rotation the guy comes through tunnel nothing much i can really do there i can only guess if they're gonna come through tunnel or the left in that kind of scenario i don't really expect them to re-challenge me from tunnel because i'm expecting my teammates to be there but wasn't quite the case and now you're going to see we're in a bit of a trap here so I'm, I'm relying on my teammates on the other side to get the um get the kills make sure they win their gunfights and just allow me to get some time over so i can kind of push the hill gonna push through this guy's here in the corner there's two people there we take out one uh, i don't know if that's the same guy I think that was the same guy, so I got kind of confused here, but that's all right, man. And we up by 15 points, going to push through to the P2 here, and we've got plenty of time to work with. So what I like to do in this situation is, while my teammates are pushing through this side, I'm going to go behind them, try to get in the hill. Right here, I definitely should have used my grenade and my stun, but I kind of went for the challenge instead and didn't quite work out. Basically, an even game going into P3. I'm spawning on the other side of the map here, so I'm going to go through, watch the middle. I know they're going to mainly be, you know, P2 side, so I'm going to push through, watch middle, see if I can get any kills on the rotation. My teammates on the new hard point, so far, so good. We take out one. Yeah, I know there's one more enemy on my left hand side here, so we're going to see if we can try to catch him off guard. Normally, on rotation is where you can get the easiest kills because you normally catch the enemies off guard here. So we go through, we take out one. I'm going to try to play aggressive, just see if I can catch him off guard here, but this is really important. You don't want to get caught out here. You want to make sure you know you're rotating and this is honestly really unfortunate we go through we dive out the way and somehow he kills me i felt like i was behind the wall but my main kind of motive there and my main kind of goal there was to you know go to the left here take him out go behind the wall reposition with my teammates but it doesn't quite work out and i know we haven't done much objective work here but you're going to see how the game naturally starts to progress so this p3 i think i got caught out a lot to be honest on the back side of the map there and i actually realized you know what i didn't play that really well i did not play that too well so we're going to back off there chuck a stun I do like this play though. This was a good play because I'm going to use my equipment really well just to kind of distract and just push the opponents back here. And I really like the play we do here. So my teammates are in the hill. I'm pushing out. We're going to go to the left here, go through a different angle. We take out one. Now, looking back, I wish I went prone there and just held the angle. I think my pacing was all over the place. Instead of running there, I could have easily held the angle and that could have been a nice little two piece. We're going to go through again. Good use of equipment. Chuck a start on the right hand side. We're going to use a nade just to make sure anyone's weak if they are pushing the front. My teammates get a two-piece. So now we're just going to hold the middle and look what happens. Literally one guy on the left-hand side takes out everybody, gets a three-piece. And that's just something I don't really, you know, you don't really account for, to be honest. If I had the whole middle map here, we do get taken out. And now it's going to be a 50-50 on the hill. 1v1 here. I'm going to take my time. The nade comes in and I'm basically one shot. So great break from my opponent. There's nothing much I can really do. But the game's going back and forward here. And like you saw right there, I was pushed down. It didn't quite work out because my teammates didn't really get much time on the hill. So although my teammates are playing the objective, I feel like I really needed to up my objective presence just because I don't think they're doing enough on the hill and as a main slayer I'm not doing enough personally as well so I feel like a roll switch here will really help our team out again I'm playing solo queue with no communication so it's just one of the things you naturally do in the game but we're going to go through to the left here some great kind of shots there good centering onto the first guy the second guy does come out me and um, maybe that could have shouldered a bit better once I take out the first guy maybe reposition shoulder back here but that's okay the trade goes through we're going to watch middle map here I can hear somebody on my right so we're going to take our time this guy sees me i'm gonna go prone here this was a really good play because i knew the second guy would play more aggressive i wouldn't have time to back off so i went prone tried to camera him we took him out the second guy comes through and again we're getting traded so right now one thing i'm noticing is we're down by 21 points roughly but the main thing i'm noticing in my individual gunfights is i'm going in a lot of one versus two so 
Either that's just my teammates and me not playing together, or that's just, you know, the opponents playing really well in terms of going as a team. So I definitely need to change something up. And again, right there, really, really unlucky. I feel like I spawned there. I didn't expect him to be on my left there. So just loads of things kind of going against me here. We're going to go through. This guy goes into bottom green. Now, while he's going up the stairs, I'm trying to pre frame just take him out. And there, my main objective was just to get him weak enough that if he goes upstairs, my teammate has the edge in the gunfight. And I'm like, you know what? Two people on my team are on the hill. That's really good centering right there. Something that... I think it's very underrated in that position. Like, that kind of snap-on was only due to the sentry. So, you're going to go through. And honestly, I didn't know the enemy was there. I got very kind of... Oh, not anxious, but I say I got over aggressive there for no reason. I kind of wanted to push out that cut because I feel like my teammates' pacing is a bit all over the place as well as my own. Like right now, we should have somebody a bit more pushed out in the cut instead of everybody kind of suffocating in the hill. The reason I don't like ple uh, people playing all in the hill is because you allow so much pressure to go into the gunfight. So we're going to go through here. We take out one, and this was a great gunfight. We make him one shot, and then we re-challenge him. Something I love to do there, and we get a nice little three-piece. So you can see the pacing starting to really increase, and this is where we start to play the objective and it just really helps me out that's a nice little four piece there on great pacing 18 seconds i'm going to pick up the assault rifle i would love for my teammate to rotate right now he's literally with me in the hill one of us needs to rotate and honestly because i'm on a streak here i prefer to be the one kind of sitting back because i really want to play for that cruise missile that can help us later down the line so we're going to go through and in this moment when i'm on the old harp and i'm always looking at the minimap to see where my opponents are and where my teammates are sorry not my opponents because we don't have red dots but we're going to go through my teammates are in a position on the right hand side here and again i'm playing for a kill trying to play for that streak i actually meant to hold the smg and the assault rifle but didn't quite work out and this guy just played a really good corner i did hear him move around but i wasn't sure exactly where he was he plays a good corner and just like that we lose all the gunfights and everything goes against us so our back is against the wall and how do we come back from this moment we're going to go through here on the left hand side i'm going to try to camera him but the left hand jump is a lot more difficult so right there if you notice i have to jump towards the left hand side instead of the right and it just makes it a lot more difficult and i think we have no map control not a lot of slaying going on so i'm like you know what i need to play the objective role but i'm gonna whip out an assault rifle and i think there's a big big kind of um, thing out there that people think you know smg players are the quote unquote objective but me personally i feel like in certain scenarios your assault rifle players can definitely be the ones on the objective so that's exactly what i'm doing right now that's exactly what uh, optic did with ghosty he was one of those players that loved the objective but played with an assault rifle so right here we're going to push through back to p1 i'm going to go through i'm going to try to slow down the game but just make it play more into like you know my play style make make the opponents come to me we get a massive two piece we almost take out the third but the last two enemies were kind of both looking at me and we're, we're down by 40 points here this isn't an idle situation but we're in the second rotations so i really want you guys to pay attention to how we can turn this game around what i could do individually to make this game a bit more closer and hopefully we can switch the lead so we're going to go through my teammates there i would love for him to sit in the left corner he kind of just went out in the open so i couldn't watch over him i tried my best we're going to go through we take out one and again i'm really holding the irons here trying to get every single second on the clock every second here is really important to get back into this game p1's normally quite a scrappy one but i feel like we've done a really good job i say we got about 30 seconds on this p1 this guy doesn't realize the guy behind him i get the team kill but that's that's all right because i still get the kill on the opponent getting a nice little double kill gonna push through and again we're back into the game just because of that p1 and it's all down to the rotation and just kind of playing our angles really well gonna go through and although i died there there's three people coming through middle map this is perfect this means that the enemies are rotating none of them have positioning so we're gonna go through normally somebody comes this side and i kind of predicted that well we take him out we're gonna go to the top here we've got the trophy system and now it's all about the angles all about playing the time and the kills there so i'm looking at the mini map you know there's a guy in front of me we're going to take him out and i notice nobody's in the hill so this is where i start to really get my inner objective um, mindset out so i'm not right nobody's gonna play in the hill so I'm, I'm happy to do so we're gonna go through we're gonna use a stun on one side grenade the other side this guy comes to the left here so i'm gonna pre frame but this is really important i'm the only one in the hill so i don't want to die here so what i'm trying to do is play very close to a wall great pre fire there we take him out and these 20 seconds are just going to add on and just like that within the last maybe 50 60 seconds we were to take the lead and literally turn the game around this right here is really important in a, in a previous video i've been in the exact same scenario and what i did is I actually challenge this guy early and he kills me so what i did now is i'm not going to challenge him straight away i'm going to try to play my life that way i'm getting another 10 seconds although i died there honestly that play right there shows that i've learned from a video maybe like a month ago where the exact same scenario but instead of you know 
backing off. I challenge the guy and he, he actually gets the gunfight. So if you're in a situation like that, you're playing for scrap time and the guy's trying to find you, you know, even if you die, it's okay. But try to soak up as much time as possible. And literally within the 60 seconds, we managed to take the lead. And now we're in a very comfortable spot. I'm going to watch the cross here. My teammate's going through the hill. So we're going to try pinching the hill. I'm just going to play a credit corner. My teammate dies. That's one. We go through. That's a nice little kill right there. I'm going to look for the opponents. I know they're going to be coming through the middle cut here. So it's all about the position. If we go through, we get another kill. Now with 25 seconds left here, it's just about stacking the hill, playing the time and allowing my teammates to push out the lanes. One goes through. This is actually an unlucky gunfight. The guy really, really did a good job to absolutely fry me. He did the broken jump mechanic. But just like that, my teammates on the rotation and you can just see, I don't know exactly what happened, but it feels like with the flip of the switch, we managed to really kind of flip the game around. We're getting spawns, we're prioritizing rotations and it's making it so much easier for us to win the game here. So we're going to go through here. This was a bit trolly from me shooting the floor, not, not hitting a trophy system. I heard somebody behind me i wasn't sure exactly where he was i tried to get there before the rotation but it didn't quite work out which is okay we're going to go through we are spawning the other side of the map here so i'm going to try to get there as quick as possible try to stop them just watch through the middle map and let's see what we could do here we do get taken out but my teammates are winning all the gunfights we're spawning very very close and when the game's this close what i like to do is look at the scoreboard look at the time left and see can they win from this scenario no they can't so what that means is we can play for the scrap time but also prioritize the rotation we go through we get one we take out the second and we make him weak we done enough to make my teammates push him and right there in that situation you want to make sure you at least get a few bullets on your opponent that way if your teammate pushes through it's all about the trades it's not always about the individual kills all about the trades we go through we take out one and i notice with 10 seconds left i can sit on the hill here and cement the victory so we're going to go through i'm going to use my sound hole once again make sure nobody comes through the left if somebody comes through we'll just shut the door and just like that that's four down and we win the game we actually dropped 25 kills and two minutes 20 in the hill against three crimsons I think that's pretty impressive, man. I think that was a good game. It goes to show that kills isn't everything. We kind of adapted our game plan. We were down by quite a lot. I was like, you know what? I'm going to sit in the hill, let my teammates push out. And yeah, it worked really well. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. A bit of a change in my play style, more of an objective based role, which I, I still enjoyed. I went literally at neutral with two minutes in the hill, man. Nothing to complain about there. I'll take the victory. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Peace.